There is a global move toward renewables these days. Logically, that should mean that investment in oil should decline. But is that really what's happening? Good morning, I'm Ate from the Environmental Perspectives and welcome to the Environmental News Monday. We'll talk about the topic raised above. In discussions about climate change, in the spring of the year 2022, there is a conflict between oil and renewables. The Guardian published a report about 200 plant projects with huge carbon output. They call them carbon bombs. Each one of those is projected to result in at least 1 billion tons of carbon dioxide emissions over their lifetimes. Together, that is equivalent to about 18 years of current global carbon emissions. Simply, if the world is to be carbon neutral, those projects should stop. You could make an argument against them simply on the basis of their environmental impact. However, Fatih Birol, the executive director of the International Energy Agency, expanded that argument, and he points to a business case against investment in fossil fuels, and says, if the world is to succeed in moving to net zero, these projects may fail to recover their upfront development costs. He continues, the most suitable projects are those with short lead times and quick payback periods, such as expanding production from existing fields. Finally, he reaffirms his support for the renewables. I believe we have the chance to make this a historic turning point to a cleaner and more secure energy system. For more environmental news like this, subscribe to the channel. And now the question of the day. So do you think that energy companies should focus on 1. Investment in big, long-term fossil fuel projects 2. Invest only in small, quick fossil fuel projects or 3. Focus primarily on renewables that's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.